they gave us access to film in this location, but they said we can't disclose the location on camera, but we can tell you that it is on American Heritage and there has been apparently some paranormal experiences going on. environment. Uh, this is the scene shop. My job requires me to work late hours and I can often end up in the building uh, by myself at 1 a.m. This building gets really creepy when you're by yourself. Um, not just buildings make noises, but we have a ghost. A lot of theaters are haunted. I mean, it's not unusual for theater to be haunted, and all the ghosts have origin stories. Just like your superheroes have origin stories, ghosts have origin stories. Our ghost has a name, Stefan Norris Jones. I've read articles from the 80s and everything else, um, and uh, you don't see anything like that. But it's not one of those things that would generally make big news, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's not a one construction of those... worker dies in construction. You hear about it on the nightly news. You, you don't ever hear about it again, you know. Um, and I think that's where a lot of these kind of spirits come from. And they're still reliving day after day. I did have an experience on stage this summer um, that was actually witnessed by students. So, and it wasn't so much something seen as in we heard noises. Um, and I wasn't the only one to hear these noises. I was like, you heard that? And he's like, yeah, I totally heard that. And after that, one of the other students, I said, that was really weird. That sounded like stage weights clanking together. And then one of the other students said, yeah, I've been hearing something up there and it's been creeping me out and I didn't want to say anything because I didn't see anything. You can see that if there's somebody up there, you would know. You would know. Yeah, you would definitely you know. Would know. Um, there's multiple locked doors between here and there. So um, maintenance rarely goes up there. But again, that whole thing is visible. If somebody was up there, you would see. After Mr. Dickey explained his experiences, he wanted to bring us down to the basement, but he politely asked us to shut off our cameras beforehand. As soon as he heard that, like I felt, I didn't feel good. Even I, I was, are you recording? 